Okay. All right. Well, I am uh, Dan McGlaw. Another great, great presentation by the AAS here in beautiful New Mexico. Thank you very much. Um, boy, after after Rochester, uh, things just started coming out of the woodwork, and I know good stuff's going to happen here. Thank you for attending. Thank everybody at home. I am going to talk fast. I've got so much to say. I can never get through it all. I promise I will make use of your time. I hope you think it's valuable. Um, ensure your seat belts are securely fastened. Uh, kick the tires, light the fires. Let's get going. I can't show everything. So at the end, I will have a slide of links that you can photograph or you can keep, and you will be able to... Um, to contact me. My posters are, of course, with the uh, the workshop. Um, you can see me in the breakout session that comes. You can hit me up for a Zoom call. I do Zoom calls with everybody. No charge at all. I can do all that. And I apologize for reading. I normally do this off the cuff. I'm trying to keep myself, uh, keep myself focused. 10 months to go. Is, is it it's, it's too early to think about it, right? I've heard that. And I've told people it's never too early to be late, but the opposite's not the case. So um, please make sure that you are <clears throat> you are on board with it. You guys are, but everybody else, uh, we need to bring people up. I am Dan McGlawn. I am from a small town west of Indianapolis in the country. I am the president and chief uh, CEO, chief eclipse officer of eclipse2024.org. You like that? Yeah, I thought that. Um, I live in Indiana uh, on that red arrow, um, just west of Indy, right in the path. So on eclipse day, I don't have to chase. I can roll out of bed, put on my pink fuzzy slippers, go out on the back deck and see an eclipse. I hope we have the weather that we had this April 8th. It was gorgeous. <laughs> Depends on many factors. Um, my background is in math, is in uh, computer science, is in education, uh, is in technical project management and eclipses. I've seen 15 totals and uh, innumerable other things. So I've got some experience. I ran eclipse2017.org. What an experience. It was very successful. 10 million hits a day for two weeks leading up to the eclipse. Uh, it was so successful, we got denial of service attacks from Ukraine. Uh, that, was, that was how I knew we were successful. So now I'm running eclipse2024.org, and we've expanded. There's a lot of competition. There's a lot of uh, legacy knowledge in the general public. Um, I was stupid enough to change my domain name, so I had to start my SEO from scratch. Well, that was fun. But we've got good content, really good content that's focused on the Eclipse experience, and all of it is free. And that's, that's the one thing. What is the Eclipse going to be like for everyone in the path, out of the path, maybe especially out of the path? So many people are not going to be in the path. Their experience should not be minimized. Their experience should be celebrated. It's not maybe not the experience I would want, but we should celebrate everyone's experience and, and, and really make people uh, feel good about what, what they're, what they're uh, experiencing on Eclipse Day. Their experience is just as important as ours. So I have information for both eclipses. And, um, and that is my picture. <laughs> Thank you. Feel free to steal that if you like. Um, uh, but but I'm focused on what will the eclipse be like for me and me being the user. Um, I don't care if you're a chamber of commerce, if you're a business, if you're a museum, a library, a school. I don't care how many eclipses you've seen, uh, communities, but mostly people, regular people. Isn't this the coolest thing? This, this is what we want. We want people to connect. We want communities to have something that goes in their time capsules that people in the next eclipse, which is 2153, are, are going to be able to open up and, and we're communicating with people uh, about our experience. Um, we want people who are five now to become 70 years old and remember that their grandparents took them to an eclipse because people do remember that. So, and that experience transcends any of the science that we're doing, which is very important. But uh, I, I, I feel that that's very important. And it's important to have content. So on my site, we offer a lot of things. I don't even know where the, where, there it is. We offer viewing blogs for 75 areas. We offer the Eclipse Simulator, which is featured in Astronomy Magazine, Sky and Telescope Magazine, two years in the making. Um, really, really, uh, I'm something I'm very proud of. Um, the Eclipse uh, videos that we've uh, extracted off, and I'm going to show you a video where I've run through this really quickly and shown, but um, it, 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 it takes me a while. We got viewing instructions, seventh grade reading level, five languages, lawyer approved, very simple, 
um, and, and available um, uh, eclipse circumstances and community pages. And I'll, I'll talk about that if I can, if I can find my, I don't write any of the code. Um, I can read the code. It's kind of like Spanish. I, I can't really, but I can, I can read. And I do manage my own programmers, artists, translators, composers, database, and all the executors of my vision for what I want this site to be, which is to be inclusive. But I do do all the grunt work. I do all my own Eclipse calculations from scratch, all the way back to my own Vesalian elements. I do all my own LRO uh, crunching data for the, the, the Bailey's beads on the simulator. Um, I do that and I think it's important because it not only has to show what it looks like, it has to be accurate because the Eclipse is for everybody, including the Eclipse geeks, right? Uh, plus I'm a control freak. And if you've seen what Delta T has done in the last 18 months, I'm about to have to change it again. And it's very easy to change um, with, with the setup that I have. And that makes it very accurate. Normal people don't care, but it's, it's important to be accurate. Also, everything on my site is in English, French, Spanish, to be inclusive of everyone. It's not in German because the Eclipse doesn't go over Germany, but it is in those languages. No Google Translate. We use professional native speaking translators. And just like Ukraine, how I know that's good is because people in Quebec, they, they email me and they say, oh, votre français est magnifique. It is really good. And I take that as a, as a, as a you know, which is gracias. Um, um, am, am I 2023 pages are also in Portuguese. Para gente no Brasil. Na somente, right? Yeah, so that's okay. Um, it's Portuguese. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. All the important stuff, though, uh, the Eclipse information pages, the animations, the simulator, the visual elements are available for any location you choose. You can zoom in, click on your backyard. This is when it's going to happen. This is what it's going to look like. And um, you'll see on my uh, community pages. But for the community pages, the ones that are designed to host all the information from the communities, we've narrowed it down a little bit. It's, it's 140,000 cities that that's available for the magic of databases. So it doesn't matter who you are. If you're in Toledo, Ohio, Fort Towson, Oklahoma, it doesn't, Dripping Springs, Texas, it doesn't matter. It's for you. It's for everybody. And not just in the path, outside the path. Um, so if you, um, if, and on my uh, community page, we also link to Deb's great Eclipse web to, um, uh, the, the Andy's great uh, educational resources and uh, Kate's wonderful uh, in the shadow because those are literally the best resources in the world. And uh, I'm really excited about all the hits that they're getting. So we will join any community as your partner in Eclipse Evangelism. There's one community in Indiana. One person stood up and said, there's Eclipse. Dan, can you help me? I'm presenting to their middle school, their elementary school, their high school, their mayor, their chamber of commerce, and they are going to have everybody in their community uh, viewing this eclipse because that's their first priority, people in their community. Um, people who are going to open the time capsule, sure. But people who are going to drop in and then create a traffic jam on their way out, you know, your community is first and you can eliminate that traffic jam. I tell this to anybody who will sit still long enough, you guys qualify. So the NCAA championship game is that night. So have a watch party. Keep people, keep people in your community, prevent those traffic jams. But that's, that's huge. So we will promote any official um, site uh, link, any official plans at, for free. And we are on the top of page one or in the top third of page one for every community. Eclipse, 20.4, you name a community, and there we are. You're going to get hits. So, um, Angela, it's time to run the video, and I'm going to ask you to pause at a certain point. I'm this is rapid fire. So here's an Eclipse resources page. This collects everything. The animation, which you uh, can, can play with, you can embed it on your site. You can get a direct link to it. Uh, the simulator, the videos we've extracted from the simulator that are on YouTube, the city page, the community pages. And you, we've given you iframe code. Copy and paste it goes on your site. The animation is right there anywhere you want to put it. We've given you a QR code. This is your QR code, Albuquerque's 2023 Eclipse. Put it anywhere you want and use it. Same stuff is available for the simulator. Same stuff is available for the YouTube videos. We've got a direct uh, YouTube video with titles and music. Can you pause, please? Uh, YouTube video with titles and music. And we've got a YouTube video that is streamlined with no titles and music that could be used in an educational program, could be used on TV uh, as, as, uh, as this is what it's gonna look like. I've done these. You can go ahead and uh, thank you, Angela. Uh, resume. And this shows the path of the eclipse. It's going uh, over my, uh, my 
home in central Indiana, you can see that, that the oval kind of kind of emulates the, the, the shadow. And this is this is a great visual. Here's the simulator. We will zoom in. You can go all with your backyard. Trish, I'm going to southeast Missouri just for you. And it opens and we will see um, you can change the scene. You've got four basic controls. If you haven't seen this before, um, you can zoom in. We've got limb darkening. You can use this to show the, the moon and, uh, going across the sun as it moves in its orbit, which is really kind of cool. You have, um, you can go, I went too fast here. You've got the shadow that is right underneath my beautiful picture. There we, I, I thought ahead that that shows where it is. You've got the Bailey's beads. You've got the diamond ring. You've got the corona. You've got the orange glow. You've got the stars and planets. If you, if you don't like the ones we're showing, you can see all of them, but you probably won't see those. Uh, but there they are in case you want to see them. Um, we uh, apply uh, the LRO data to show you the accurate beads. And I did check that in the 2023 uh, simulator and it's accurate. And you can use that for study purposes. You can turn off the corona and you can just see the beads. You can, you can zoom in. So that's a good, and we've got a new thing that I don't think anybody has seen. It is more math. We show you, we turn off the dark and we show you the shadow coming, encroaching up at you and overtaking you and moving up. And Michael can explain why that uh, projection is giving you some distortion, but that is accurate. We are ray tracing a vector to every point on the pixel. We know where the observer is. We know where the, here's Australia, Kate. So it's going the wrong way. What is going on? Um, but if you, if you look at this, we, we, we did take, we got the actual prominences. And we've got the actual corona. It took us a few days to do that, but thank you to all the people. If you don't like the learning curve on that, we've got YouTube videos, about 10,000 YouTube videos up on YouTube. You can download them. You can use, use them as you like for the annular clips. For the, okay, can you pause please real quick? I'm, I'm running out of air, but I'm almost done. It's the altitude folks, I promise. Um, Charles uh, Fulco earlier showed you the astronomy pages, but this is, this is for after the eclipse in one of my next lives. This will be an astronomy curriculum. For any teachers out there, this is available for you, but it's not publicly available. Contact me, I'll give you a link. These are diagrams. Please go ahead, Angela. These are diagrams that, sh things I wish I knew when I was 10, that I was learning, learning this, where you can move things around and you can show, make your own um, uh, lesson plans. And you can do, uh, Right ascension declination, the ecliptic, uh, eclipses, that's a little too fast. The nodes, parallax, uh, Kepler's second law, conjunction opposition, the, the equation of time using just the analemma showing the lunar eclipse. And this one I'm most proud of. This one is, is huge. And it shows you Bessel's method of, you know, you can move the moon anywhere. You can, move it, you can make it ascending or descending. You can move it up or down, which is, of course, earlier or later to the node. You can put a, a sphere in the way and show it. You can also make it uh, look like the earth. There we go. We, we, and we can make our own eclipse. We can orient the earth. And it's nothing more than a cone and a sphere. If you don't like that, you can, we've got preset eclipses in there that show you exactly um, just using these controls. There was the uh, 2020 eclipse uh, in Argentina and Chile. And it's very, very accurate for just, so, so th this is the kind of thing you could, you could do an entire semester on astronomy with this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and uh, wish you a good eclipse. And uh, I, I would love to help you uh, have your moment in the sun as well. Please take a picture of this. That top is dan at eclipse2024.org. Um, I do appreciate your indulgence and I am ready and willing to evangelize eclipsism with all.